uh, seek recognition to uh, strike the last word and speak on the resolution. The gentlewoman is recognized. My colleagues, uh, let me put it very bluntly. Misinformation is killing Americans and damaging our democracy. Let that sink in for a couple of seconds. Lies about the 2020 election led to a deadly insurrection on January 6th. Misinformation on COVID-19 led to tens of thousands of Americans to unnecessary hospitalizations and yes, some deaths. In February of 2021, Mr. McNerney and I sent a letter to companies that host media outlets infamous for trafficking in misinformation. A letter Mr. Carter mischaracterized. These companies have a duty to protect our democracy. I think every American company has a responsibility to America. This is a system that I hold sacred, and I think at the end of the day, you do as well. But it's currently under threat. We asked them questions about their own standards and how they moderate content on their platforms. Whoa, that is sort of, oh my God, how dare, how dare a member of Congress even raise the issue? As members of Congress, we have a duty to protect our democracy and ensure uh, the free society that we live in isn't uh, uh, undermined by lies and disinformation. So wherever the inquiry goes, I think it's appropriate to ferret that out. I don't find lies and misinformation and disinformation to be Republican or Democrat, conservative or liberal. If these companies are spewing that to the American people, you want to stand next to it? Do you really want to stand next to it? This is like a cancer in our country. So I, I don't make any apology. You have used the word scrutiny and accountability since 1015 this morning. And you're taking me on for scrutiny and accountability. So, you know, friends, uh, I think that we need to get really serious about what is ailing our country, our precious democracy that generations of young people gave their lives for. And now, in the second decade of the 21st century, lies, disinformation, deadly insurrections. We're supposed to stand aside and say this is a new normal? Hell no. Hell no. This is, this is something that we should all take on. And if we don't, then some of us will. And I'll make no apology about it. I yield back.